Okay, so this is going to be a, a brief tutorial for Gaia dealing with um, waypoints. Um, now, bef the first thing that we need to talk about is the uh, format for your coordinates. You can see up on the top in the stats bar, I have my coordinates in uh, uh, stated in UTM. Um, to change your, the format of your coordinates, go to the settings icon in the very bottom right corner, and then uh, the main settings bar, you know, if you, if you click on a particular settings screen, you have to uh, click the back for settings in the top left to get back to the main one. So here's the main settings bar, and third from the top is units. So just touch that units. Um, the very top is coordinate type. Tap that, and you can change it to whichever type of coordinate format you want. Um, so if I go to decimal, de and it shows you an example at the top, very top, that's kind of convenient. Um, mom's not even here. Yeah, she went for a walk. I'm, I'm not talking to her, I'm making a video. So if I g leave it on decimal degrees and go back on units, and then touch the bottom left, the map again, comes back up, you can see my coordinates up in the stats bar are listed in decimal degrees. So uh, this, this is also going to be a nice way to convert between coordinates. So waypoints, okay? some of the bread and butter of any GPS application. So first I'm gonna go back and change it to UTM coordinate. So I'm gonna to touch settings, coordinate type, and I'm gonna change it to UTM coordinates. You notice if, if I hit the top left units, the back button, you'll see there's an also an option to change from NAD27 and WGS84. We use WGS84 usually, so I would, you know, obviously put it on that if that's what we need. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the map just by touching it in the bottom left. Okay, now I am going to make a new waypoint. I'm going to hit the little plus sign that is in the top row of icons, second from the far right. I hit this plus sign, and I have options here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add waypoint. Not add waypoint my location, because that automatically dumps it where I am, but add waypoint. That brings up a little screen where you can enter the coordinates. 13S is our zone that we almost always stay in. So I'm just gonna go up to this, the easting. I'm going to erase that and I'm gonna put in zero, three. You don't need the zero, but it can be convenient to put it in so you don't make a mistake, but you don't need to put the leading zero in. Zero, three, eight, nine, two, nine, four. And you can see as I put it in, you can see the waypoint moving around on the map. So now I'll tap on the nor at the northing here. Just tap there and I'm gonna hit the backspace to delete it all. And I'm gonna put in a northing of three, nine, six, two, five, nine, eight. You'll see it made my waypoint there. So now what I'm gonna do is if I be careful not to not to touch the waypoint while I'm zooming in. If I touch it, I actually can drag it and move it accidentally. So if I be careful not to touch it and zoom in, you know, by expanding my fingers, I can see where that waypoint is, where it's gonna be when I save it. And um, the, these other things, that area and these other track lines are other things that were already on my map. So now I'm just gonna hit the green save button. Not the save and guide, but just the save button. Now it brings up options for you to name it if you want, for you to change an icon, for you to change the folder that it goes into, who can see it, etc. cetera. Um, most of the time in the field, I just ignore all this stuff and I just hit save. Um, I might change the folder to, if I want it, trying to keep it organized or sync it to a folder for everybody else to get automatically, which I'll talk about more later. But anyway, I usually just hit green save and I move on with my life. And then there you have, that's the waypoint. Now. This waypoint location, you'll notice, happens to be near, oh, oh, look at that, near the SAR training gate eight parking. And it's in a blue area that uh, Eric had um, prepared for us as part of a uh, SAR exercise. Imagine that. Now, the other thing with waypoints, if I touch it once, just right on the waypoint, it'll pop up with uh, the name of it and a little I for info, and I can hit I and I can go back and get more info on it. And I can edit the waypoints, I can add a picture to it, it tells me how far away from me it is, various things like that. So, um, and we can talk more about that later, but the main thing that I wanted to show you is how to add a waypoint. There's the waypoint.
um, I think that's I think that's good for this video. I'll leave it just at making waypoints for now.